Let's bring back our political panel, Democratic political strategist Joe Listingy and my old colleague, former United States Congressman Michael Patrick Flanagan, both Skyping in from Washington. Uh, Joe, uh, mm -hmm. was Vice President Biden, was that a tacit admission that his boss's policies have failed the middle class? I don't think so at all. I think what he's talking about is the fact that people have been looking to Washington for leadership for a while, especially at con in Congress, and all we've seen are shutdowns and failed bills and immigration bills not going anywhere and gridlock. Um, it, it's, it's sad because I think the president wants to say it, but he knows it's bad for some reason to say that compromise is a bad word all of a sudden in this town and around this country, and that's a problem. And, he, and I think when he was referring to the middle class still in trouble, I think when we look at the future of this country, that's what he's referring to. I mean, these elections will make a difference for the future of this country. And he's saying, hey, look, you know, the economy's headed in the right direction, but we're not out of trouble yet. And let's not go back to those policies. All right, we let you get that in. But the other thing going on, sometimes it's not the real issues, it's personal foibles. Uh, the chicken, for example, Bruce Braley uh, suing one of his neighbors. He brought it up. It's created some problems. There's a chicken ad. Want to take a look at it and want to get your comments, Michael Patrick Flanagan. Let's roll the ad. Dude, they left the gate open. Let's go for a walk. No way. Last time we did that, we almost got sued. What are you talking about? Well, remember when we were chilling down by Bruce Braley's vacation home? Yeah, down by the lake. The guy running for senator. Yeah, he threatened to sue over that. Because we walked on his property? Uh-huh. He wants to be an Iowa senator, and he threatens to sue over us, over chickens. It's not very neighborly. It's not very Iowa. Uh, so, Michael, do you think humor is going to work? Will that make the difference for uh, for Joni Ernst against uh, Bruce Braley? Humor always works if it's effective and it's thoughtful. Uh, the people who live near oceans fail to understand the Midwest. And in the Midwest, saying you're not of Iowa and you can make it stick is a powerful accusation. Um, I think it's going to be a very close race in Iowa, and something like this might turn out to be the difference. I think it's an effective ad. I'm sure the ad geniuses in New York and L.A. are laughing, but that's they don't they're not from the Midwest. They don't understand the Midwest. And I, I think of course, it's a good ad. we talk about Iowa. We talk about corn. So there you have it. Uh, Michael Patrick Flanagan, Joe Lestingy. Gentlemen, we thank you for your differing points of view and hope to have you back uh, in the days that remain before the midterms. What, just seven days away? Thanks very much. Speaking of the midterms, our Newsmax election team continues to look at some key races. This hour, we take a look at the campaign for the Senate in Kansas. Incumbent Pat Roberts against so-called independent Greg Orman. Republicans are on an 80-year winning streak in the Sunflower State. Independent Greg Orman hopes to break that. He's challenging Republican incumbent Senator Pat Roberts, who's looking to win a fourth term. It's a seat he must hold on to. Republicans need to pick up six seats without losing any in order to tip the Senate their way. Orman is keeping this race extremely tight. His main message for voters, vote against the status quo. If polls are any indicator, that message is hitting home. In a recent Remington Research Group survey, voters gave incumbent Roberts a 48% unfavorable rating. Orman's was 40%. Political analysts say Congress's low approval rating and Roberts' tenure are working against him. That's why Roberts is desperately trying to link Orman to the president who only has approval from, on average, 35% of Kansas voters. A USA Today article quotes Roberts calling Orman a liberal Democrat who is using the independent label as a cover-up. Former GOP presidential nominee Mitt Romney was in Kansas yesterday in an effort to bolster Pat Roberts' campaign, appearing there with the incumbent in the Sunflower State. Uh, for the latest, go to our parent website, Newsmax.com, as we continue our countdown to the midterms. And be, be sure to join us right here on Newsmax TV election night for special live coverage of the midterms, You Decide 2014.